Hey, man. Hey, nice Hi. to meet you. How's it going? You too, you too. Oh, sorry, got gotcha. you. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you in person. Thank you. Thank you guys yes. for coming. This is amazing Thank out you. here. It really is. Thank it's you. a great location. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys moved in yet? No, we haven't moved in yet. But if there's any way that yeah. we could finish this project before the end of summer, okay. um, we'd really like to get the kids in and focus on starting school and sure. yeah. not a renovation. Four kids, right? Yeah, four, four kids. kids. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's tough. It, it is. Yeah. We're hoping they get you know settled in. Yes. I'm Cherie Kokenauer. I'm Mark Kokenauer. We currently live in Austin, Texas, so we were looking for a cooler climate. So we're happy to be in Bentonville. I am worried about uprooting our family and moving to an area where we know no one. So there's gonna be some growing pains, but I mean, we get to live on a farm. Okay, let's start with the outside. So the plan for the exterior is to replace the siding, get you a big front porch, a new front door, and paint, get you the white farmhouse with black shutters, that quintessential southern farmhouse. Yeah. Perfect. Should we go inside? Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. We'll follow sure. you guys. So the plan for the living room is, most importantly, open up as many of these walls as we can. We're going to sand and refinish the floors. We're going to keep the fireplace and just update the whole thing, get you wood burning stove, and then paint. That would be great. Yeah. Once we do that, it gets us into the kitchen. Yeah. It's a fine kitchen, but it's just, it's not my style. Mm -hmm. So the plan in these spaces will be, we'll create a kitchen where the current breakfast nook is, and we'll give you a white kitchen with durable countertops, new lighting, of course, new appliances, and a nice big island. Okay. That would work. And then we'll have a informal dining room area in this space, which is currently the kitchen. We'll take this wall down, and then we'll have all of the consistent flooring throughout. Okay. That would be amazing. How do you get to the garage? Through the laundry room, make a right. Okay. So this is the laundry room. Is that the door to the outside? It yeah. is. We okay. were thinking we could turn this into a mud room and then put all the kids' stuff when they oh, come in. You perfect. know, sneakers and backpacks. Okay. And then garage. So we have all of this, and then we also can take that room right. behind us. And we just, we need to create a bedroom, a closet, and a bathroom. It feels like a lot of space. So that's yeah. bedroom. This becomes bath. What do you need in your bath? I think we'd like shower and a uh, separate tub. I really like a big soaker tub. Yeah, I take showers, so. Well, okay, so your laundry room, do we want to move it into here? If we make this mud room over here, mm -hmm. and then you, you, the kids can go right in and throw all their junk into a laundry room here. But then they have to enter their bedroom through the laundry room? I'm okay with that. Does that work for you guys? Yeah, it works okay. for us. More okay. space away from the kids That's is smart. totally fine. Hey yeah, guys, like two doors. If you're gonna come to our room, you better do your laundry on the way. You're yeah, not allowed yeah. in. That's good. Smart. I like it. Okay. So, all right. The plan for your current garage is to create a main suite. So bedroom, bathroom, closet, and laundry room. And then in your bedroom, we're actually gonna remove this wall, capture all the space, and create a nice, serene, beautiful bedroom for you too. Okay. And then in the bathroom, we'll give you a spa-like bathroom with two vanities, a tub, a shower. And then we'll take the current laundry room and create a mud zone, drop zone for the kids' shoes and backpacks. Perfect. That sounds great. I'm very excited about this project because I love just like that classic horse ranch style. But I want to hear um, more about these animals. So when, what's the plan? We're going to learn as we go. We know yes. nothing about horses. Yes. But we are winging it. I think we're going to start with chickens, see how that Perfect. goes. That and seems like a logical jump from chickens to horses. Chickens to horses. Yeah. <laughs> Our daughter Charlotte is a horse expert, so she can oh, come okay. help. She doesn't have Perfect. horses. She is a self-proclaimed eight-year-old horse expert. Well, so We could use some advice. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get everything out of here and then literally start over. It's going to be a big project. And with 240000 in the budget, there won't be any leftover. They are relocating four kids to Northwest Arkansas, and that's a big, big deal. So we've got to get them in here within four months so they can get adjusted before they start school. We have yes. a lot of work to do with not a lot of time. So this is it. This is it. There's a few things we got to figure out. I'm feeling so good about this house and this project. Things are moving along. 
even with our tight schedule. It's so far so good. We're working right up to the last minute at Merkin Trees. We're using a marble tile and a brick pattern on the kitchen backsplash that will add a traditional look to match the beams on the hood. The floors are being prepared to be sealed, which will keep them looking great for years to come. Flip it over. <clears throat> we gotta hurry because school is yes. up on us and these Couple kids have got to be settled and in their house before they start school. So we just gotta get it done. Super cute. Take your boot off, let's try it. Looks good. Love it. And the landscapers are busy transforming the front yard with colorful new trees and shrubs. A few more pieces of firewood. Yes, thank you. And the fireplace turned out really nice. We started with a plan and it changed, but I love it. I think it turned out super classic. It's perfect for this room. I love it. I wish it wasn't hot out. We could start a fire. This house, it's beautiful. It works on the inside and the outside. We've incorporated so many rustic elements into this home that really emphasize the horse ranch feeling. Done. Perfect. Let's go inside. Let them see the house first. I'm excited. It has turned out incredibly well. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, here we go. A couple more turns. Are you nervous? I'm not nervous, I'm excited. Hopefully there's a porch. I hope there's a big front porch. Oh my gosh! That was awesome. Oh, something different. Holy so cool. cow! Whoa, look how big it is. That's Holy so cool. Holy cow! That looks totally different. Oh my goodness. We got our farmhouse! I, I love the front porch. That is so cool. Yes. Oh wow. my goodness. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you remember, this was all closed. Yes. Yeah, and just really crammed. And then the wall came out about halfway into the couch. Right. right. Yes. So we opened oh all this gosh. up. <laughs> I love it. OK, so your living room. This go is so cool. Oh my gosh, look at our That's fireplace. That's so cool. That's so pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. I love that fireplace. Yay. And there were lots of twists and turns with the fireplace, but it just feels like it fits with this house now. Yeah. I think it's really beautiful. You remember, it used to have that dark Arkansas yeah. stone. We went to the lighter stone so that it, again, goes with everything else you have now. So the black and the white and all the natural light coming in helps as well. It just feels bigger. It's just so clean yes. and modern, but still warm and homey. It's great. This is my spot in the winter, yes. right there with a book. Yes. I'll be sitting right there. Yes. yes. <laughs> Perfect. So what was the kitchen? You got to go check that out now. Yeah, it used to be okay. the kitchen. Go down okay. the hall, the old hallway. After you. Okay. I'll follow you guys. Thank you. I really love these floors. I'm, yes. I can't get over so the glad. floors. Wow. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, the kids are gonna flip over this. Charlotte has one. Our kids play with it all the time. Yes. And we thought, you know what? This is a good intro into this Farm the ranching, life. Yeah, farming you're gonna life. Love so it. Dave made that for the kids. That's oh, perfect. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And then you have your dining room. Wow. Here. Oh this my used to be the kitchen. Goodness. That's right. This is so cool. Ah. Uh, oh, I love this. Look at this. Exactly what we were looking for. This used to be a wall. Yes. Yep. It's so open. I love it. Yay! Oh my gosh! It feels so much bigger. <laughs> Look at this. Not chopped up. It's like a built-in farmhouse hut. Exactly. Yeah, it's amazing. That's, That's what we were going for. Yeah. That's what we were so going for. So pretty. The glass, it's all old glass, antique glass, so it's got the waviness in it. It's from windows out of our own farmhouse when we changed them. And oh, really? So yeah, yeah cool. so That's we wanted it. I love that it has some character. <laughs> yes. You know? yes. Yeah. I mean, That's, That's a good part piece. Of it. Absolutely. So now the most important space, right? The kitchen. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. This. So pretty. Amazing. Oh, look at these countertops. Wow. I love it. Oh, look at this. Oh my God. That's so cool. That's that definitely cool? like farmhouse a... yeah. yes. feel. Is, does this yeah. have a story? It, it does okay. have a story. story. Your neighbor, Ricky, he has Across some the old yeah. beams. And these were all hand hewn beams, too. So they had the. All the imperfections. Uh, no, I love it. I have chills. Oh. I, mean, I love this so much. <laughs> Yay. I can't believe you got so much storage in this space. You nailed it. And I love that this all connects. You know, like that's the biggest thing. It, it used to be really chopped up right. and now it all flows. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, yes.